Hey guys, welcome back to another Sell with Manuel video. Today, I wanna to talk about home sellers. We are still in a slight seller's market. So if you have your home on the market, but it's not selling and wondering why, well, here are seven common reasons why your home isn't selling. Number one, your home isn't show ready. What does this mean? This means you want to declutter the home. You want to get rid of excess furniture so the spaces look bigger. You want to remove family photos and you want to get rid of religious artifacts. Why? Because these little things can turn off a buyer really, really quickly. And your first impression could be your last impression. Number two, photography and video. We are in a world where we're battling for attention and buyers are swiping through homes just as quickly as they're swiping through partners on match.com. So it is extremely important to emotionally captivate buyers with some amazing photography, not good photography. I am talking about amazing photography. Gone are the days where you just threw up your home on the MLS and it's sold in a matter of days. So if you have a beautiful interior of your house, make sure to showcase that early because if that picture shows up on number 10 or 12, guess what? The buyers are gone by picture four. So it's important to really showcase what your home is offering in the first couple of pictures. Number three, list price was not strategically determined. If you did not discuss market conditions and neighborhood conditions with your listing agent, then you guys overlooked one of the most important things when selling your home because high price homes deprive buyers of even looking at your home. So if you don't have people walking through the door, the chances of you getting an offer diminish significantly. Number four, limited market exposure. Implementing a strategic marketing campaign is essential. Once your home goes live, you want your property everywhere. And when I mean everywhere, I mean on social media, on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook. You want open houses, you want brokers open. Your home has to be everywhere. Again, because the more people see it, the more people will walk through the door, the higher the chances are of you getting an offer. Number five, showing availability. No buyer wants to miss your home, which is why it's important to making it accessible to show your home. Either set up a weekend or set up certain days at certain hours where you know you are free to move out of the house and that way buyers can come through and see your property. Number six, showings did not generate an offer. If you had had many showings but no offers, it probably was because one of the reasons is that your listing agent was not properly vetting and qualifying buyers coming through your home. This means that they were probably not qualified to buy your home in the first place. Number seven, offer went nowhere. If you got an offer and can't close a deal, it may be time to reevaluate negotiation tactics. Underperforming negotiator may overlook small details or lack creativity to get the deal done. So if your house has failed to sell for any of these reasons, you may need new representation. Remember, who you work with matters. So if you want to chat about putting together a strategic plan to sell your home, call me, I'm always here to help.